So it's been a while since I posted because I have a really bad ear infection. Um, my sinuses are all messed up. Pollen is all up in the air. But I wanted to turn on the camera because I wanted to share with y'all what exactly is going on with my rental property. And um, it's not looking too good at all. Okay, let me tell you why. First of all, my water bill is dang near $800. <clears throat> I don't want to own this property no more. $800? Let me break it down to you. In the previous, previous, previous videos, I mentioned that the ceiling fell through. Pipes burst. It was cold. I didn't turn off the water. I didn't know because my first property. Had to repair it my out of pocket. Right? Insurance didn't cover. Anyways, that ended up being around $600 for the water bill. I'm, I called the water company. They're doing like an investigation on it. That investigation takes about 90 days. But on top of that, I found out today that for some strange odd reason, the water bill is $300, almost $400. Right, and I'm looking at the monitor, like the usage, and it says 11,000 gallon was used as of April. What the? All right, either somebody gotta be living in that house or going in there because I mentioned, uh, I don't know if I mentioned it actually, but the realtor, one of the realtors keeps like forgetting to lock up forgetting to lock up. Hmm. Okay, we'll see about that. So that's where I'm at. You know, this one experience, this one experience, I'm not gonna lie, it has set the uh, standard. It has set like, not the standard, but the expectation of um, what how bad, no, I don't want to say how bad. How, how do I want to say this without sounding? I'm gonna just be honest, it's bad, okay? Real estate sucks, okay? That's all I gotta say. Single family homes specifically as to what, I, what I've been dealing with, trash, complete trash, okay? So, quick recap, what we did was we dropped the price because you know, no one's biting. Secondly, got brand new toilet. Everything in that property is brand new. Only thing that's not brand new is the freaking ceiling. Oh no, not the ceiling. The ceiling is brand new. Is the roof, okay? The roof is the only thing that's not brand new. Everything else is practically a brand new house. So I basically bought the house, fixed it up so it could just be brand new sitting there. You know, I could tell myself, Jasmine, stick to what you know best. Don't bother with this property. Trust me. But hey, it is what it is. You live and you learn. All I know is that this ear infection is getting worse by the day. My property is sitting by the hour, okay? Because when I'm being told, yeah, fix the toilets, yeah, clean it up, you know, it's gonna get sold in a heartbeat. You know what I have to say to them? I'm getting sick and tired of the fucking premises, premises. Like, I don't wanna hear it. I don't wanna hear it. Come to me when the property is sold. Right? Come to me when you say, Jasmine, you gotta sign some paperwork because we got a deal. That's what I wanna hear, all right? I don't wanna hear these, you know, these, it's crazy. Y'all don't even know the half of the stuff that people be saying about the property. Yes, I know it has like bugs, okay? That's one thing I completely agree with. But honestly, for you to say yeah, um, the gutters need to be clean. How the heck 
do you see the gutters from where you're standing is my question are you are you are y'all getting on top of the roof when y'all are doing these home like walkthroughs i'm trying to figure out what do i gotta do do i do i gotta go up there and do the the showings like i need them to i need them to you know put a little bit more effort into this house i need them to be like what on my dad's calling me hello uh, ask them if, if they're manually reading that's going to be the biggest difference i need to know if they're manually reading it because that's that could be the difference of of reading like that okay i'll call them hi olivia how are you doing i'm fine how may i assist you um I was just calling because my bill seemed a bit high. Uh, did you need my account number? One moment. Well, she sounds like she didn't want to help me. <laughs> but the, ho the home is vacant. That's the only thing. And I've been going up there to check the meter. And it hasn't been that high, cause last month. Okay. It says that the usage, when we read the meter on April the 16th, there was 11,000 gallons of usage. We installed the new uh, register at that time, so you had a read of 11,000 gallons when that meet when the read was when the meter when the. Uh, Oh, heck no, they did not just hang up on me. All right, so I got the runaround on the, the home payment. Let me tell you what happened. So I called about three times. First time, the lady was like, yeah, give me a second. Let me put you on hold. Hung up right on me because she didn't even know the, the answer to my problems. Second time, the lady didn't even want to help me. She was like, yeah, well, it's because of the uh, the leak that you had in the house. I was like, I already handled that. That doesn't make sense as to why my bill would be $400 this month. She was like, ma'am, I don't know what to tell you. What do you mean? You don't know what to tell me. And then lastly, the lady said, oh, well, it's because we have a, um, a new mayor. What the heck does this mayor got to do? with my property. That's what I don't understand. So, let me prop y'all up. Make sure, because it's raining right now. Man, owning this property is sickening. Makes my stomach hurt. Makes my pockets hurt even more. So what they're gonna do is they're gonna bring somebody out there to like, I guess, investigate. And guess what? I still got to pay that bill down because no matter what, I'm still responsible for keeping the account active. <sighs> Wish me luck. That's all I need.